Hi Tracy, this is me attempting to, I don't know, give you a frame of reference for how I created a form on Formsite that I'm about to email you. Here I am on the um, website Formsite. I'm on at the home page and I have currently three forms up here and this one is my testing for Tracy form and so I'd like to go edit it and I could go over here to form and start editing it or I could just go right here I'll pick that and um, it thinks I'm wanting a new form I don't want a new form I want that testing one for Tracy there we go and this is uh, a form I put together it did not take me very long and not because I'm like really good with form site but I do find it pretty easy to use um, it was a blank form when I started, of course, and I gave it this name, Testing for Tracy. And there are these common items, as they call them over here, to pick from. Radio buttons, check boxes, things like that. And I had to kind of play around to figure out which one would probably work for your needs. Um, I only know a little bit about your needs. There are a whole lot of other things um, that a person could pick from. I don't know quite what you do with formatting items or email items. I could probably, f both of us could figure out something, specialty items, whatever. Um, this is when you start getting, you know, adding a little extra, not complication, but fanciness or whatever in there. So back in the common items, I was able to add this name field right here by using a short answer item, just dragging it over here. And it said, okay, what do you want this to be? And the answer is, I don't know, you know. And it'll put a field out there called I don't know, <laughs> or IDK. That's how I put this name field here. So I'm going to go back to the IDK field and just delete it. Danger, danger, yeah, delete it. And so now that's how I added the name field as a short answer. And then there's the preferred email address. I type those words in on the email address item. I dragged email address item over to here and then gave it these words, your preferred email address. And then all of these, oops, I see a little strange thing I did right there, are checkbox items. I would just drag checkbox over to here and tell it I want this to be a sales. I mean, I let me go inside it. I typed the word sales in here. This is what I messed up. Let me take that out of there. I don't want the word sales to appear over it. Then I scroll down and hit save. And now that little word sales that was to the right goes away. So I made up all these things and put them out here. Let me delete this one called anything. And I'll put another one in, a checkbox item in here. I could put it right there and say, that they default to these words, put in, you know, for Tracy, or whatever. I know that's a strange um, set of words to use for your types of items. Oh, it has an asterisk next to it. That means that I should have said, this is not an item with a response required, and what I've been choosing is the words for each checkbox going off on the right. There. Now it looks like all the others. So that's that's how hard, how easy it was for me to put in a name, an email address, and then all these different items. Some of them kind of silly. Um, and it was very easy to create a sample form for you. Now I will send this form to you and um, some other thoughts in an email.